Hello there, how's it going? Sol here with part 15 of my When Worlds Collide Let's Play as the Atalids. Uh, first off, I'd uh, just like to apologise to anyone who follows me. and uh, I've took a bit longer to get this episode out. Um, I've been really busy this week and um, unfortunately real life has its demands. But I mean, unlike other um, Let's Players, uh, I don't queue episodes up. Um, most of them are monetized and they sort of do it for a living or a part part time living. Uh, me, it's just a pastime. The game, playing the game, and uh, that doing the LPs is like my new hobby, as I said before. Um, all I do really is sit and play, hit the record button. Save game, render, upload and post to YouTube and that's it, I do that every week. Um, sometimes I get two out but like this this week or so, I'd like to say, I've been really busy. I only managed to get, um, find some time the other day to um, get my Roma Surrectum 3 Let's Play out and I've found some time today now to sit down and have a play, but bit of time myself so to speak and get this one done. So let's go on with it. Oh, one other thing before I continue. Um, Leone, who's the developer of this sub-mod, has sent me a PM to let me know that he aims to put it out to the public in about a week's time, about the 8th, 9th of July. There'll probably be, probably be a couple of patches after that, he says, but they'll only be minor issues and some written descriptions, which I'm going to be helping them with. Uh, but for those that want to play it, it'll be here pretty soon. Okay, so let's go on with the campaign. Uh, now, previously we'd continued our push against the Seleucids to get them out of Asia Minor. Um, I had Kinodon come up and take uh, this settlement here, Dokimion, and we're looking to take this settlement next and um, eliminate the rest of any other. Uh, parts of the Slicked Army that are lingering about here. Um, now, first of all, let's get the background script up and running. Uh, I don't think we can't move um, his army out yet. I don't think he's, they, they ain't got any movement left. So, uh, what I will need to do though is um, decide what will I leave for garrison. I think. Um, I'll merge the, this, these classical hot lights and I'll leave this depleted unit with these slingers, I think, as a garrison, and then we'll bring the rest of the army out. Uh, meantime, let's get the our spy out of there. Come down and have a look and see what's occurring down this end of the world. Okay, oh, look at that, right in front of us. Right, okay, you can look at this lot. Well, they've not really got much backup, have they? They have skirmishers and slingers. Family member. Oh, Antiochus is that. Successor. Alright. And what about the other guy? Oh, he must be a family member. Yeah, family member. So it'll be good to get rid of them. We can them further if we can. Um, what have they got in the settlement? Not a lot, family member, two units, although they put up a bit of resistance, I'm pretty sure. And this larger stack here. There's not a lot to write home about there, is there, really? Again, a couple of skirmishers, a couple of slingers. You got this native phalanx unit, uh, Thuriophoroi. Okay, so we really want to, we just want to try and stop them maybe getting in and joining the, to garrison the settlement. Not make that tougher to take. Um, now, we've got Kinodon army there. I've got some of Atalos's army up here being retrained, or it should be retrained already. And what's this? Um, oh, yeah, general, a general and his bodyguard, right. Uh, well, I don't, I think I'll, I think I'll put them back 
We've got this guy here, I can't remember who was adopted or where he married in to the family of Polydorus. We're having him retrained, but I'm going to go and send him to Alexandra to govern that, I think. Um, we've got a spy here, and we've sent him over, because this is not developed very much yet, and this is why it's getting the attention of a lot of spies. And if the script, if, if the game mechanic in this allows it to work the same way that I found it to work in Roman Serectum, he can help prevent that by sort of he exposes any uh, enemy spy that infiltrates the settlement, settlement, and stops him from that will prevent him from uh, causing any unrest. Um, and also, generally, because our spy can see him. He's discovered and he gets executed rather than escape. Um, the same with assassins. The, the, having a spy in a settlement will expose the assassins so they can see them and it prevents them from coming in. Well, what I've found anyway in Romus Rectum, I hope it's the same works here, but it stops them from coming in and uh, sabotaging any of the buildings or even assassinating a governor that's in there. Although it'd probably have to be a weak governor or. Uh, easy to assassinate for that to happen, but the spy seems to have stopped that. The same goes for like, um, let's see, we've got a diplomat in there. I think I talked about that in the last episode, so I won't bother going back over that. He just helps to stop place getting braved. Now, when, once the once a lot of settlements are developed, they don't seem to have that problem. It's only when the you know, like early days, and you get you leave a little garrison in there or whatever, because the population's low, and um, you don't have a lot of unrest. You only need a small garrison, and that's the only time I've ever found my settlement being braved when I haven't had a, a governor in a settlement like that or a spy. So I'm thinking it works the same way here. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's just one of them things. Now. Um, we want to get this uh, army out of here to join up with Atalos, so we'll yes, gather them all together. Lord I'll leave the archers just for a minute because I like to do things in a orderly fashion and tidy. And I want to get a couple of units out of um, Ephesos. I've got some these two classical yes, hot light units. There's an archer unit here in Leone, and of course we'll bring that other archer join up with them and we'll send them round to here so now we do a general see how that take like two maybe three turns to get here now i'm going to take atalos up there he's in uh Halic and Arsons, isn't he and uh let him join up with his men again and then you see from here he gives them far more range see that more, much more range, more distance they can cover. Um, apart from that, everywhere's building, I'm recruiting uh, my diplomats up here. Let's get him. You know, we've already done the business for them. Now, look here, see with this highlighted area, uh, it, obviously you know that tells you where he can go, but it, this river blocks him from moving except for this crossing. And um, I think Leone's done his mark this way to prevent the Antigonids from advancing quickly northwards and conquering uh, the lands up here of the Dardone or Dardanai. And um, as you can see, there's that river there that you can't cross anywhere. There's that river there, it's the same. And then there's this wooded area, these mountains. If I come up a bit higher, I think. Let me see, where's Pella? Is that Pella? That's Pella there, that's Thessaloniki, I believe. Come on, there we go. Okay, so if we go beyond here, I think this is it, it takes us up to the Carpathian Mountains. And um, I think he's made the, the he's done the map so that they can't come straight through there. They have to come all the way around. 
and sort of like it slows down their advance and it's quite a clever little move actually I think it's a good idea but anyway let's get my uh, diplomat um, we'll go this way we've already got trade rights with the uh, Aperos and we'll go up here and see if we can find some Dardanai I think that, that's in there actually I don't know was it here They'll be in here somewhere, if not, they'll be in this area. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, everything's fine there, they can't move every, anywhere. Uh, what I will do, I think, though, although I think it's a big enough settlement not to get bribed, um, I think there's less chance of uh, Ephesus getting bribed, and we've got a uh, diplomat in there called Ned Stark by the looks of it <laughs> it's his picture so we'll send him down to Halicarnassus being as we took uh, Atlas out of there and then we'll try and get a diplomat over who can give us a diplomat not there go to the islands that's probably the best place there we are and then we can send them over but I don't think they really need them now they're, they're probably growing enough to be strong enough and um, withstand uh, bravery. My Lord. Okay, end turn. Yeah, we're getting a visit from a spy now. If it works, it works. It, it, it'd be great, but if it doesn't, well, it don't matter. Now, first of all, let's start with the diplomats so I don't forget them again. My See if we can find them. Yes, ma'am. There we go. I shall speak with them at once. Uh, trade rights. Let's ask them for map information as well. And we'll offer them map information. There we go. That'll do. Now, I think uh, Dad and I stretch right across to the Black Sea here. Find a settlement. There we go. Yeah, Tyrus. And that's Dad and I. Okay, so we'll send our, our diplomat across this way then, I think. Yes, my lord. See what we can find over At here. Once. Once. Oh, what's that? He's just running there. Keltoy farm, I remember. Oh, I know, we're at war with him. Right, war declared between Pontix and the Autonomy Greeks, so that's Andy, that's our allies against. Oh no, are they allies? No, I think they just get trade rights from them. But they're, they're, they'll give the uh, autonomy something to think about for a couple of terms, I would think. Recruitment report and cause. Um, I think we'll get one more unit of um, light phalanx. And I'll recruit them in there, then we'll get them across to the mainland. Okay, Pergamon. Uh, oh, I didn't. I thought I'd put that down. I thought I'd start that. Oh, well, it don't matter. I've done it now. Must have forgot. Um, but that um, geezer will be ready, so we can send him across to govern that settlement where it grows. Um, Construction report, Alexandria. Oh yeah, clear out surely straight away. No hesitation there. Melitos. Some good benefits here, definitely. It's an island that can wait, I think, for now. I think we'll let's see what that gives us. So, asphalt, tar, tannery, linen, cotton. Alright, I'll give us buildings for those. I think uh, the asphalt and that are needed for the ships. It helps strengthen the ships or something. Something to do with that. It's probably the tar would be do with the roads and what have I'm not sure. It's something like that. I, mean, I read it. I've read it. But I can't really remember it. Same here. Develop new productions based on our natural resources. So, 
they'll probably have something like chalk salt or pottery or something like that. I'll put that in there. I did notice that squall was a bit high though. And I could put the aqueduct in, but it doesn't um, reduce the squalor, but it just sort of slows it down, I think, the health buildings. Uh, I'll put it in line anyway after these two, and then we can get it done. Again, we don't need to upgrade for army units from there. We'll do them from the mainland, really. Okay, who else do we got? Alicanarsos. Again, we'll put the temple in and we'll put these buildings in. Uh, and the fishmonger, we'll let that grow. And uh, Dokumio in, phase three, no danger of that, straight in to there. The richest nation is uh, Bactrians, by the looks of it. And we're not too terrible ourselves. Okay, so with that done, we can bring Atlas run round now to the other side of Sardis, and we can bring Kinodon out. But we'll leave these two units behind, and we'll just bring them down to that borderline now, and um, see if we can. Well, they've moved over next to the city, next to the settlement. Um, well, we never know, we might be able to intimidate them, we'll see. Yes. A spy can get in, 100% chance of success. Uh, our navy, oh god, these single ship attacks. I just, I don't really get this part of it, but we have to deal with it, so. Ready. Let's go on with that. Don't even bloody sink it. I've got like, like, nine ships with um, experience. Most of them all get three and that one's got silver, which is four. Just one there, take that out as well. God, even that isn't some oh, bloody hell. I'm gonna put them in dock there and retrain what needs to be trained. There we go. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Can't recruit anywhere else because it's all going on. Uh, I'll put it there. No, we can't do that in there yet. Um, move to the end turn then, I think. Oh, did I do my diplomat? I did, didn't I? Where is it? There he is. Yeah, you run into this gazer now. Alright, move over. Spies back again. Now let's take you across here. I think we'll take you right out to the Adriatic here, see if we can find anybody. I don't think we can get across through these mountain passes here. These mountains rather, I don't think there's any passes. Up to there, and we bumped into somebody again, who's this? Uh, Bona Celtic City, we're at war with them. I think we're at war with everybody. Yes, my lord. Let's see what's up this way. Quick look at the news, path block, we don't need that. Alliance between uh, Ptolemies and the Armenians. Now they're too far away to worry about them at the minute, I think. So I won't bother about that too much. Recruitment. Uh, right, let's have another uh, alien hotway in there. Fesos. Get another Thereophori. Uh, useful flankers there. And cause we get that cavalry unit. Uh, Mytilene. Classic hot lights, we send them over. But I think I just concentrate on um, building that settlement up like everywhere else. Ok, 
chaos. Alright, so nothing to do there. Building. Looks okay in there. Uh, chaos. We're building there as well. Again, we'll just concentrate on building up its structure. Fishmonger. There we go. We'll do it for now. Samos. Again, same sort of thing here. Learning school is usually good. Courts will be good. Game field. I think we'll go over to school. Another toss we've done already. Stone Mason put that in the queue as well. Uh, who's that? If we put up the taxes, that would. I mean, the population growing and stagnating at the minute, so if we put it up, we're going to minus. Is that going to help us any? Tax rate apparently, I'm not worried about that, it's a squalor, I want that to slow. So if we cut down the population, I think that should help that way, I'll try that. See how it goes. And I think that's everywhere done. Right, now Atalas is, um, supplies are cut, alright, oh, okay, fair enough. And the economy is still looking alright, spent a lot of money, but... Still looking fine. Now then. What's happening here? Oh, they've moved in there. Bugger. Alright, not your worry. What's this? Hippolytos. On his own. Successor on his own. This seems a bit daft to me. Can we reach this army? We can. So let's go and take them out then. Them. And then we'll see what time I've got left. I'll maybe do an hour as I've been delayed in putting this episode out. Okay, so they've got... Oh crikey. Doing some cavalry, extra cavalry actually. Run them down. Don't take so many hits. Let's just hold fire a minute. Can this guy reach? He can. There we go, and now we'll take them. Three units of cavalry should run them down pretty niftily. Let's go. Don't take too many casualties that way from them slingers. And if I... We'll see what time we've got left, then I'll try and take out both the other generals. see what happens from there. Yeah, so uh, that's good news that um, you yeah, managed to put it out to the public. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's one or two of you that are, are following me will be uh, interested in playing it. Hey, it's a good day to die, but better still to live and remember brave deeds done well. It's pretty straightforward to download and install, but if anybody's got any problems, you know, always leave me, you know, Drop a few lines into the comments below and I'll help you where I can. Uh, right, let's go. Start a deployment now. Where are they going to be? Hmm. Good question. We wouldn't be up top there, would they? Well, I have to say it looks favourite. Isn't it? Now then, let's um, let's put um, I don't know. Put these guys. To the front. I 
think. Heavier guys. Behind them. Archers. There and there. Uh, we'll put these guys. And we'll come up from that side. I th I've got a feeling they'll be up on top of this, this hill here, so I'm not wrong. Okay then. The thing is, let's uh, get these guys up to here now. They'll be able to get us from there, won't they? The rats is quite far behind. I don't think we'll need any more than that. We'll leave the rest down there. Bring the generals up to about here and then we'll attack these slingers because these are only short range, these um, skirmishers. Let's just see with they're, they're, oh, they're doing this little bloody thing, this little jig that they do, don't they? Backwards and forwards and what have you. And uh, there shouldn't be much of a problem. Four units of slingers, is it? One, two, three, four. Gotta yeah, speed things up a bit. I don't know, I like going on triple speed because I always cock it up. Distracted, are they? They're not pulling across over here. Okay. Again, I, I, I think I mentioned that a few times before as well. Either this or else in Romans Rex and Three. I, I wish there was something the models could do about them being so far apart before a battle. Just to help us let's players <laughs> get there a bit quicker. Yeah, let's run them. Okay. And we'll bring them up to here. Pretty quick. And then our cavalry can really get it easy here. And I'll turn the triple speed off. Spears down, man. Spears down. There we go. The perfect charge. They're all coming towards the bloody cavalry, look. They broke their turn now. Looks like they their generals in there, the captain or whatever. Come on, you guys. The gods have filled the enemy general with fear. Now he flees the field like a coward. Uh. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Really? Try these ones, take them out again now. Get in there and charge them. And you can get over and charge them. General can run them down, they're not needed anymore. They're all breaking. Wipe out what we can.
The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Move out, hurry! Well, he'll be quicker than you get over there, you can get him. Okay, speed up a little bit. And we should have a bit more time. To get maybe kill off those two other generals in. Dealt with. Did they catch them? Sorry, y'all. Get it done. This is a heroic victory. Okay, so that was pretty soldiers. straightforward. I dragged it out more than what I needed to, to be honest, but we only lost two men. But, um,. Defeated them, that's my matter. No, no, I might just lay siege to that other settlement and then send another army up to attack Bithynia. The only thing is, of course, that um, the siege uh, weapon won't be ready for it until eight turns, so it's a long time. I can zap through it quite quickly, right enough, but. There won't be a lot happening unless uh, one of the other factions comes and attacks us, of course. Or maybe the Salukas could send another army. Okay, now then, let's go and take this geezer out here. No, don't jump back here. Okay, we'll only need the three cavalry units to wipe him out. We want to make sure we kill him, we don't want him escaping. Now with Leone getting this um, sub mod out to the public in about a week's time, I'll try and clear up the whole of um, Asia Minor by then, including the Bithynian settlements is near at hand. and Rhodos. If all do their duty, it will be our victory! Bend your backs to your tasks and all will be well! Alright, my very chum, chums. Oh Christ. I certainly can find these bloody hilltops, can't they? Alright. Well, there's no real easy way to do this, I suppose. Um, up this side. Okay. So steep, isn't it? There's nothing I can do about it. We just need to see where they are first. Look at this. Alright, so if we send our guys up there, we'll get it on triple speed, get them up there about as quick as I can. Just tire them out. Just be patient and wait. But meanwhile, like I was saying about the, um, the sub mode coming out in about a week's time um, to the public, I'm not sure whether I'll carry on with this. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I've got the I've got the patch and another another copy of this. I've got. 
This is my LP copy, but I've got two other copies of it where I'm doing a testing on it. And um, I've got, I've already got the patch, you see. Um, he's just doing some reskinning of some units for the Macazon, Macadons. He's written complete new scripts for for the Antigonids and uh, Aperos and um, some new units, some Petzeroi and Macaria Feroi units. So um, it all sounds really good. And um, I haven't got the new units yet. It's going to send them to me, make them available to me tomorrow so I can have a look at them. Which is great, great news. How far up? Uh, we can't get any further up here, can we? This is it. Okay, so bring them forward. Actually, I want the, the bigger unit in the middle. Bring you there. And the general here. Get that off triple in a minute. Start running now. We'll get you up top, and we'll send these lances directly at them. Take them off guard so they can charge. Little uh, rally call from the general. Go for it. Hurry up. Don't want this guy getting away. Now what I usually do is try and run a unit, walk them through, so they're right on top of them and they can't get away. See like that, see so you watching? A little trick I picked up a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago he says. I've only been playing about three years. There we go. Got them. This victory surely they were. So what matters? Yeah, it's a little trick. I, I do that when I'm against phalanx and stuff like that as well. Or heavy infantry. I walk one unit through, or one cavalry unit through, and once they're about three quarters of the way through the enemy unit, I just click on to attack them. Right, that's one down. The thing is, um, there was three of them, so where's the other one going? You may well be hiding in ambush somewhere, or just hiding in the woods somewhere. Because there's only that successor that's um, that's available, that you can see, and he's visible. It'll be good if we can get the other one as well, to find out where he is with his uh, bodyguard unit and then it just leaves that one left in the settlement now can he reach? Forest. he can uh, it's a bit of a forest there by the looks of it not like that, uh, that's just what gets me a lot of the time I've found that um, there might just be a couple of trees like this around but you go in amongst them and then you find there's a whole bloody wood <laughs> So. We'll attack him anyway. Oh, there he is. Look, we've got both of them together. Knew he'd be hiding somewhere. That's a successor. And that's a family member. So we'll have to attack him. And then... We'll take out him. Right then. Now, this is straightforward, foregone conclusion. We just want to make sure we kill them, that they don't escape. Okay, so in we go. Yeah, like I was saying a few minutes ago, I've already got the patch, and it's just a, uh, the, the new parts that he's adding to it, I don't think they're safe game compatible. So, I mean, I can't actually 
I haven't actually really played anything, I've just been testing some of the stuff that he's sort of told me about. It's a wonderful sub mod. I mean, I love Roman's Rectum anyway, I've said it many times, but I mean, look at his detail. I mean, you remember how old Roman's uh, Rome Total War is, do you know what I mean? Alright, you said enough, mate. Now, it's a dead certainty they're going to be behind these bloody rocks, that's for sure. Never been more certain of something. And we'll just send the army down one side and the general and the cavalry down the other side. Down through here. Um, yeah, and these guys. Well, actually, they're the ones that are easy, easier retrained, didn't they? We'll take them back and we'll send a three or four eye because they're the easiest retrained. Okay. Like that. Okay, let's get it back underway. The enemy have brought up more reinforcements in a futile attempt to mm, save they're themselves. They're definitely behind this rope. Oh, they're to the side of the rope, the looks of it. There they are, there. And where's that other unit? They're just coming onto the field of battle. Alright, so we'll send these units up here. Put them on the run actually. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey! And you can come up to the woods here. Uh, Just got your watch. Um, there you come. And my boys will be over here waiting for you. Here they come. Please. Time we have them too winded. There they come. I don't want this bugger getting away. Let's oh. get him bogged down, don't let him escape. That other generally doesn't know they're going to ride away. Look, who the hell? Come on, boys, get after them, kill them. I don't want them to escape. I can't leave it now. I've got to make sure they can. Stuff at him. I'm really disappointed if he's getting away, look. That's another irritating thing I find as well. How is it that AI units always manage to move quicker than mine? But he's got away, the bugger. He's left the field. Right, we've got to get this successor.
make sure he don't go in. It's just me or not, but they just seem to be running, they just seem to be going so slow. Um, look at that enemy, that, that general just got away there. He, he, they were tired and they were running faster than my body, my cavalry. Look. Here, so I can see what the hell is happening. I'm general up here. I ain't even gonna get a good charge here. So slow to react. And well, that's what I think anyway. Never hit them before they can start running away. Come on. Soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. God be praised. This victory surely they God. were not Good. that of mortals got like that us. Lost a few men though. Crikey, 46 we lost. <sighs> well, never mind. We won. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, I do find it a bit frustrating sometimes. Yeah, I get a wee, a, you know, you're trying to do things right and you're trying to get your tactics to work. And and the, the mechanics of the game just don't allow you to. And you feel like you're sort of like, I don't know how you feel, but I know I feel like headbutting the fucking monitor. <laughs> I get that annoyed sometimes because I thought I've done everything correctly and a bloody general like escapes like that one did there or your men don't move quick enough or the enemy's um, slingers are killing more of your guys than your slingers are killing them there we go well we've got them sorted anyway so uh, just got to watch out for who's coming next um, ok so we'll besiege that in the next turn I should have sent the general down first, actually. Um, anything else happening anywhere? No, I'll tell you what, I'll leave it there. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you come back and watch some more. And I have some more information, uh, probably about um, the release of the sub mod to, to you, the public. Okay, thanks again. Cheerio for now.